Do you feel like you had a better year this year than you had a year ago, or I mean, how do you like your chances right now? Uh, I don't know. Obviously, they're uh, two great defensemen that uh, that I'm up against. And, um, the year obviously wasn't as successful as we wanted it to as a team, but uh, you know we've got some things that we can learn upon and, and get better for next year. Can, can you describe just sort of the end of your season, just with all the expectations, how different it was but to lose? Sort of, sort of what you think about for your mind since then? Uh, I think at first it was just shock. I think it. Uh, I mean, it, it happened so fast. It was just like uh, it just ended just like that. And, uh, you know, we uh, we did have high expectations this year. I think it was the, the deepest our team has ever been, and um, you know, it was very disappointing and, and tough. It was uh, you know, a lot of guys didn't uh, didn't really know how to how to react. And uh, hopefully, it helps us for the for the future. What are, speaking of the future, I mean, how apprehensive are you about the next couple of weeks? Um, Obviously, I think that uh, they're going to do what they can and, and try and take care of everything. It's uh, David's done a great job in the past and, and getting everything he uh, he wants to do done, and um, it's just going to obviously uh, cover it unfolds. It's going to take place in the next few weeks. Talk to Ryan or not talk to Ryan? Yeah, I've talked to him a bunch. I mean, uh, not really about hockey. I think we just talk about uh, what's going on in his farm. That's all he seems to like to talk about. <laughs> What's going on in his farm? Uh, he's out there riding the tractor all day, <laughs> pretending like he's doing hard work, but he's just driving the tractor. Mm -hmm. I mean, are you recruiting him? Are you just being a supportive friend? Yeah, obviously, uh, I'd, I'd like him to stay. I mean, um, it's it's a personal choice for him, but um, anything that you know that I could do to help, I would I would do. But I don't think that's uh, for me to decide. That's for him and his family. And, Obviously, uh, I'd like to play with him for for a long time, but that's uh, you know I can't uh, can't make that choice. What, what about you specifically? You're pretty free at the end this summer, but it just it just it feels kind of different this time around a little bit. Maybe less pressure, kind of going into it. I mean, what's sort of your take on your situation right now? Where can you talk about where you guys are with the team in terms of yeah. Come to the yeah, I think it's uh, it's a lot different situation last year, obviously with. Uh, the summer we had last year that was tough. The negotiations didn't uh, go, I think, as uh, either side had planned, but that's the way it went. And I think this year is more uh, more comfortable. I think that we understand and, and know what each other want, and I think that uh, it's all going to kind of take care of itself. What do you want? To win. <laughs> I think just like every player in the league wants to win and a uh, competitive team on the ice, and I think that. Uh, we, we had that this year. I think we, like I said before, we were the deepest we'd ever been, and um, you know that's the way it goes. LA got uh, got hot at the right time. Phoenix was hot. They were playing very well, and um, obviously LA uh, you know, made it through and played plus. Is a long-term deal a serious possibility for you, depending on what happens? Yeah, I think so. I think that uh, you know anytime you commit yourself, it. Uh, it's somewhere you want to play and it's somewhere you believe in, and I think if uh, if that's the case, if I'm going to sign there, it's going to be uh, a long-term deal. And, uh, if not, then we'll have to uh, you know decide and, and you know, kind of go our separate ways. Is there sort of a way to see approach to what Ryan does, kind of before you kind of decide what to do with your future? Yeah, maybe that's a different situation this year too. As Ryan was waiting to see what I was doing, um, obviously that didn't play out as anyone expected. But um, you know, this time around, I kind of just kind of waiting. Yeah, like you said, to see what he does and, and what happens with him. And um, you know, obviously we're hoping for the best and everything works out. What is about your last three weeks to a month been like? Have, have you gone back to Sycamus? I mean, what, have, what have you what have you been up to? And I know that with kind of every playoff loss you've had, it seems like there's sort of been a kind of a I don't know, want to say a morning period, but a difficult time for you. What have you been doing in terms of trying to get over this one? Yeah, just kind of so, uh, just went to the to my house there in Kelowna and just kind of did nothing. I mean. The weather hasn't been very good out there either, so I've just kind of been uh, almost a hermit, just kind of staying inside, played a little bit of golf. Obviously, I'm training again. Uh, I've been training for a couple weeks now. And, um, it was tough this year, especially, uh, I think, with all the recognition we had. Um, a lot of people in, in Canada knew how close we were and how 
how much uh, of a chance we had this year. So it was tough to, to go home and uh, you know hear hear from a lot of people. So I kind of just stayed to myself for a bit. I think um, there were some comments that, that you made on a Vancouver station about battle loss and feeling, I guess, betrayed was the word. I mean, can you sort of maybe clarify those in terms of what you meant? Uh, it's a tough situation. Obviously, he can't take back what he did, but um, on the other hand, I was one of the guys that, uh, that stuck up for him that uh, you know, wanted to have him back. And for something like that to, to happen in the, in the playoffs in the biggest game, probably of our career to that point, um, it's just disappointing. I mean, I, I know how good of a player he is, and, and it's just kind of, you know, it, was, uh, it wasn't a good feeling. Thinking about that and kind of letting it simmer a little bit, does it make you more upset to a degree? Like, just kind of thinking back to that, just kind of hearing what you're saying right now? Oh, no, it didn't make me any, any more mad. I think that it's uh, it was his decision, it was a personal choice. And, uh, we still had the guys to win. Obviously, we won that next game when they sat out, and I think that we still could have uh, accomplished it. But uh, things just didn't uh, didn't work out for the Gulf Coast. How is the summer different for you than last summer? Obviously, you've been wondering what's going to happen with Ryan. Still, some uncertainty with what he's going to have with you. Is it different for you this summer, or are you sort of used to it now, having gone through something similar last year? Yeah, I think that this summer is a lot more uh, more calm. Obviously, there was uh, we had been filed on for arbitration last year, so there was a little bit of a. Uh, I think everyone saw how the negotiations went; they didn't go as anyone has planned or, or wanted. So I think that this year we're on the same page. I think we know um, kind of where each other are headed and what uh, what the goals are. Do you, do you worry about what will happen with Ryan? It's not, it's not your thing, but then it's how you yeah, I mean that's uh, we kind of discussed that already. It was uh, it's all right. It's his it's his decision. It's a personal thing for him and his family. Whatever he feels best for him. But obviously, uh, we'd love to have him in Nashville. I'd love to play with him for uh, for as long as I could. So um, it's going to be a, a, obviously a period where we're watching and seeing what happens. But I don't think you can uh, you can stress about it or, or work yourself up too much. Is it, is CPA played a role in signing a long term deal. Do you want to get it done before there's a new agreement just to make sure you can. Uh, I don't know. That kind of goes both ways. I mean, if right. you see what happened last year with the or last lockout with a 24% rollback. So, yeah, you might get that long term deal, but you might be rolled back 25%. So, there's so many ifs about it. I think that. Um, I think if you're going to sign, you're just going to sign with the intentions that the CBA is going to stay similar to the way it is, and um, I don't think we're going to take that into too much. Is it, is it less now about the team and more about how things shake out? Is the team proving to you that it's willing and able to do what it takes, and now it's just you know whether guys make decisions and how things shake out? Yeah, I think that uh, um, we made some steps in the right direction. I think the organization showed last year that they. Uh, they were committed. They gave up draft picks. They, uh, um, you know, they committed to, to getting players in, and, and you know, not just uh, just waiting and seeing what happens. They they brought players in and, and really thought we had a chance to win, and that's uh, you know that's what every player wants. You want uh, your team to make that effort and, and go out there and see what you can add and get better at uh, different points of the season. This summer, the exit was, was had much higher expectations in the last few years. Did that make it harder to uh, to lose against Phoenix, or is it hurt about the same every year? Yeah, it stings every year. If you don't uh, if you don't win your last game, you're not winning the ultimate goal. And, um, obviously, I think maybe different people in in the organization might have taken it a little harder because they had higher expectations. But I think as a player, you expect to win every year. And, um, you know, it was tough, but on the same hand, there's things that we can take from it, and um, obviously we've learned a few things with uh, different situations we ran into in the, in the playoffs, and I think that that'll make us better in the long run. One of the things you said in the past was that you wanted to see Nashville make the commitment to win and, and everything. That, that what they did this year at the, at the trade deadline and bringing Roddy Loft back, was that the type of commitment you were looking for? It was good, yeah. I think that... Uh, they showed that they uh, they wanted to bring in pieces. They thought that we were close, and uh, they traded for a few guys. They tried to get some scoring, some help on the penalty kill, and uh, they tried to plug holes that they thought that we had. So I think that uh, any player would be happy with uh, the moves that the team would make like that.
has, has David given you a commitment to do similar things going forward in the future? Um, obviously, uh, you know, he's he's just as committed as everyone else, and I think that uh, the ownership's finally kind of um, come to him, and, and, you know, they're on the same page, and everyone's kind of going forward, and, and the way that they're saying that they're uh, committed to spending and doing what it takes to win, so that's, uh, you know, that's an exciting thing. If, if you were to get the right offer and everything, would you personally be happy spending the rest of your career in Nashville? Of course. Um, Nashville's a great city. Obviously, they've got great fans. Um, it's a great place to play hockey. Competitive team every year. And, um, you know, if, if that's the way things work out, I'm perfectly fine staying there for a long time. Just back to the awards for a minute. Uh, Pecorino nominated for the Vezina for the second year in a row. Can you talk about how important he's been to the franchise? Uh, I think that everyone knows now he's not, uh, you know, he's not really a hidden, uh, hidden gem anymore. I think that uh, you just come and watch us play, and, and you see how much he means to us. And, uh, you know, some of those games where we get out to those slow starts, and he's stopping 20 shots in the first period. I mean, uh, there might be games where we could have been out of it uh, really, really long. And about the uh, Norris Trophy, Tara and Carlson, can you talk about your competition? Yeah, obviously uh, two great defensemen. Um, uh, one of the most uh, uh, biggest, most dominating defensemen, and then another guy that's uh, obviously very offensively gifted and, and can skate and, and do a lot of things as well. So it's uh, it's a huge honor to be mentioned with those two. Okay, he's a 